Welcome to a very, very special episode of The Binding of Isaac. We are jumping in, starting the brand new save file. We are starting from 0%. But we're keeping all the mods. We're keeping every single one of the mods, the modded characters, all the different uh, mods like Fiend Folio, Revelation, not Revelations, uh, Retribution, that's the one, and other things like that. So we're going to be going through, progressing through the game as it is vanilla, but also progressing through all the mods as well. So we have a lot to unlock. We should be seeing quite a high portion of modded items in this. And also, also, we hit 10k subs. We hit 10,000 subscribers. It's a milestone I've been waiting to hit for a long, long time. I can't believe we finally did it. And I have been promising something for quite some time now. I've been promising something for quite some time. So today is the day. And for this episode only, this shouldn't be a thing that I continue from now on. But for this episode, for the start of the series, we have Hello Everybody, the face cam. I haven't really set up a face cam before, so I don't know how good it is. The lighting is pretty eh, because I'm just using my other monitor, but hello everybody. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> that was probably really cringy. Anyways, we're sorry to interrupt guys, but this is Turtle from the Future. I just realized after finishing this video the following day that I didn't mention two very, very important things that were meant to be in this video, meant to be announced in this video as part of sort of my 10k milestone and sort of part of the new year. So I just wanted to quickly jump in before the video starts and go over those. So one of them is that I have started up a second channel where I'm going to be uploading a lot of different stuff. I've been talking about the second channel for a while on the video, so you guys might already know about it but for those of you that don't this is gonna be a second channel where i upload more long form content one to two hour maybe longer sessions of various different games things that don't fit onto the regular channel such as the first game being elden ring i'll also be re-uploading anything that i played with never named such as the half-life series and portal uh, they're going to get added onto that channel too. And any future sort of games that don't fit into the regular channel will go on that one. It's going to be a very sporadically uploading channel. There's no real schedule or timings to when you'll see things. It's basically just going to be when I play them, they'll be uploaded. And there's going to be a lot of different games on there. I've got plans for like Red Dead Redemption 2. I've got plans for The Witcher and a few other things along those lines. So please do go and check it out. There'll be a link in the description and in the comments. Uh, the first episode of Elden Ring should already be out. So please, 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 if you enjoy that sort of content... Maybe if you just enjoy listening to my commentary while you go to bed or anything like that, I know a lot of people like that sort of thing, then do go and have a look at that second channel because it would mean a lot if you went and checked it out. Also, the other thing, as I said, to do with sort of the 10k milestone and the new year is I'm just generally sort of setting myself a new, res new, new year's resolution, new year's resolution to kind of put more effort into the channel. I mean, I do already put quite a lot of effort into it, but hitting 10k, YouTube starts to notice you more when you hit milestones like that, and um, I feel like there's certain things that are un-Isaac related that I've been slacking on, um, and one of those things that I'm going to be picking up on is uh, Enter the Gungeon, the modded series, is going to be twice a week now. I'm going to be uploading that more regularly. I don't know why I'm sitting like this. Um, so weird having a camera. I'm not used to it yet. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to be starting uploading that more regularly, as well as uh, bringing back some old series. So please, if you have any old series that I've played, please go and check out all of the playlists that I have for all the different games I've played. Pick out some games that you maybe want to see come back um, as a series again, or even new games, and leave comments below. Ones that get like highly upvoted, I've mentioned quite a lot, then I'll take a look into bringing back. Uh, but either way, yeah, I hope you guys um, didn't mind this little interlude here, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and yeah. We're going to jump in. Now, you will see that I do have um, a completed mum kill. You have to have one mum kill in order to earn achievements with mods enabled. So I went and did that real quick. I didn't really unlock anything, like, at all. Um, I unlocked, I think, Monstro's Tooth and Little Chubby, and that's, like, it. Oh, also, also, I just want to show off my Hollow Knight shirt. I have a Hollow Knight shirt on. It's very cool. My girlfriend got me it for Christmas, and it's very awesome. So I really want to show it off. <laughs> I kind of just forgot that I had that on. You can't quite see it in the frame there. I'm looking at my camera, by the way, if you see me looking over here. Um, but I've got a Hollow Knight t-shirt on. It's very cool. Um, yeah, so I didn't really unlock anything. Uh, I just did the first run. And, but I thought, why put that on YouTube? You guys have seen plenty of vanilla runs. I might as well go and do that off camera so we can start up afresh, start anew, and jump on in. So, yeah, everything is locked. We have nil. By the way, something that I do also have to say is I have never recorded anything with a face cam before. So, it's going to take me a while to get used to actually having to look at the camera. I'm probably going to be like this most of the time, looking really far down. Um, but, 
I'll try my hardest to actually look at the camera when I'm speaking to the camera, but it's, it's going to be a little weird. Like I said, this webcam thing, the face cam thing, isn't something that I'm planning on keeping as like a mainstay of the channel. Um, but people have been asking for it for a long time, um, and so I thought, why not? For 10k, I, I, I basically, all the way since about 400, 500 subs, those of you that were here at that time know who you are. Um, I've basically said that 10k would be, oh, I'll do a face reveal because I never thought I'd hit 10k. And then here we are. Um, we did get a Merry Christmas message here with a little Santa dude from Repentance Plus here. We got an extra bomb off the bat. Of course, we are playing as Isaac here. Also, uh, just want to mention as well, I've reinstalled like every single mod. Oh, Santa's gone. I've reinstalled like every single mod for this series. It actually took a really long time to set up a new save file. Like, uh, a really, really long time. Um, I, I, I went to record this at around like, what, what the hell is that guy doing? I went to record this at like, I can't remember, like 7 o'clock? And it's like, it's now like just gone 9 o'clock. Um, actually, it's like half past 9 now, yeah. So it took quite a while to get this all set up. I installed a few new mods. Um, one one that uh, makes it so that there is no more baby unlocks, no more co-op babies. Every single possible mark that you can complete unlocks something in-game. In it unlocks an item or something. So some things that normally wouldn't be locked are going to be locked, which is kind of interesting. Um... Oh, that was kind of close. I, do you know what? It's going to stress me out really badly having this webcam on because um, I'm not used to it. And I'm going to be pulling some weird faces. And also, something that you guys probably won't get... Well, I said probably. Definitely don't get to see on the regular is I pull some weird faces and do a lot of hand gestures while recording. Regardless of the fact that there's no one here to see them. Um, it's something that I, I've done for quite a long time. I, I do it all the time and I don't really know why, so... That's probably going to be something that I'm doing uh, a fair bit. Also, probably getting hit because I'm looking directly into the camera every now and again. I'm, I'm sure that'll be something. Um, I'm really hoping the lighting's okay. It's, it is what it is. You can see my face. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, also, the placement of the webcam is kind of iffy. I don't have a green screen, of course. You can see all the detritus and crap behind me. Um, so, that's unfortunate, but... I'm not going to pay for a green screen for a single video. <laughs> I um, it might I might be something that I bring to uh, to Twitch maybe now and again if people really want it. Um, I know that obviously on Twitch people tend to more often um, use face cam. And I, I'm neither here nor there, right? I think it does add some personality to some videos, especially the quick edited ones, ones like Huts do, things like that. Uh, but otherwise, I'm not that bothered. Also, can we find our item room, please? I'm also going to be very, very, like, conscious of um, wanting to, like, itch my nose and stuff, because I do that often while I'm recording, and you guys don't normally have to see it. Now you do. It's a whole new world. It's a whole new world. Right. These little spindly fellas, taking them out. But, of course, um, I am recording this after my Christmas break. For those of you that don't know, um, the reason the face cam episode didn't come a little earlier is because uh, I hit 10k right like the day before I was going to go home. So I didn't have the webcam purchased um, and I also just, I already had a bunch of videos prepped for it. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I had a bunch of video prepped already, so it was kind of not easy for me to, to, to set that up. Uh, secret room or secret room, where might you be? Um, and so uh, I ended up delaying it until I got back. So I've just got back today. Um, okay, not too bad. I've just got back today and uh, I had a very good Christmas. A very good Christmas indeed. Uh, this chair that you can see ooh, is from my girlfriend. I had a really bad like 20 pound office chair that was probably one that, that she just got from her actual office. I don't know where we got it from, but not good. Um, not, a, not a great chair for support or anything like that. So I'm glad to uh, now actually have a decent chair. It is a gaming chair, which means it'll make me 25% better at all games too, which is always nice. Um, oh, humbling bundle. We need to fill our donation machine as well. There's so much to do. So much to do. So many unlocks. There's going to be some weird unlocks that I completely forget exist. So please, oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Depression. Please enlighten me to those if I completely forget about them. Because, uh, like I said, I do I do remember there's a few unlocks that like, are pretty specific and are pretty kind of weird. You're never going to get them back and that sort of thing. If we can knock some of those out early, then why not? 
Oh my lord. Lipstick can drop a random heart on pickup. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that it would drop an eternal heart? Now, something we do have to do as well is we have to um, kill Hush five times in order to unlock the alt, of the alt path. And we have to beat Mother in order to beat the Beast. So we do actually have a little bit of a ways to go before we can... Um, excuse me. A little bit of a ways to go before we can go and uh, kill the Beast and some other bosses and stuff here. So... Excuse me. Um... Hmm... <laughs> Something, something ain't right in that room. Now, one thing I do have to point out real quick is if we go over here, we do have some errors in the console. One of them being caused by Ipecac. Some of the others being caused by Sacred Assistance. I do not know if they are causing issues with items not spawning. I have heard... Um, I have heard that, that if something's erroring out, it can cause errors like in other mods too. Uh, but I also didn't want to disable um, Ipecac for the first episode. But if that's what's causing the issue... Oh, come on now. I was so confident that was going to blow up. Um, it's a kind of a hard room here. Um, if that's what's causing the issue and we don't see any modded items this episode, it is what it is. I'll disable it for the next one. I have notified the developer of the, uh, of the issue. Um, but here we are. Uh, the... The Sacred Assistance one from the Job mod, I'm pretty sure I know what... Well, no, I don't know exactly what causes that, but I'm pretty sure that one's an easy fix. But the Ipecac one is just... It's just box. It is how it is. But we can have a nice first episode regardless. Even if some mods aren't spawning items as they should be. At least we know the cause for next time. I basically... I knew of the issue before I started recording. And I, I kind of opted to just ignore it for this episode. And hope for the best. Um, because we're still getting all the Fiend Folio and stuff like that. It just might be that modded items, um, don't spawn this run. We, we don't, we've only seen two items so far. I'm kind of jumping the gun, to be honest. Um, by like the third or fourth floor, we might know a little bit better. But at the minute, I'm just assuming, for assuming sake. Um, we, I, yeah, like I said, I guess, I guess we'll see. Um, oh, balls, I looked at the camera and got hit. Did that guy do a full heart of damage? Since when was that a thing? There's so many enemies that I completely forget do full heart damage. Gotcha. Right. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It might it might be me being a goober, but yeah. Some things in Ipecac may not work because of that error. And I'm assuming booster pack there. I'm pretty sure that's from Ipecac. I think that's going to be one of them. Um, we get a free hug and we do get Ghost Pepper. Very good, very nice. Oh, with the lipstick, it kind of looks kind of cool look. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. It, it makes us look like we have a beak. It's very strange. Uh, okay, so... Soul Heart there, that's very good. We want to be trying to unlock a character if plausible here. Um, I don't really care about the battery because we don't have an active. We unfortunately are D6-less Isaac. Um... We'll see what we end up getting. We shall see what we end up getting. But yes, um, I hope you, I hope everyone here had a good Christmas. I've not really asked the question of the day yet. I think yesterday's um, episode, which I recorded like two weeks ago now, um, had that question, which was, did you have a good Christmas? So I don't know what to say for this one. Um, oh, what the? Hello. A holy fella. I have not seen this boss before. I'm, I'm imagining staying in his aura is going to cause us some problems, so I'm going to try and stay away from that. But this is pretty cool. This is a boss that I have not seen before. The aura poop. Didn't drop an eternal heart, though, which I was kind of hoping for. Um, and devil deal. I think I'm going to take both of these, because if we get three devil deals, um, we... Uh, if we get three devil deals going, we unlock Azazel. So we might as well try. There's some easy characters to get. We got Lazarus, Azazel, and Maggie. Like the three really easy, easy ones to get. Maggie is, I think, five red hearts, which we're not close to, obviously. Um, Lazarus is four soul hearts, and Azazel is three devil deals. So all of those um, are plausible in the first run, but I, I think that Maggie's obviously unlikely now we've been spending on devil deals. 
Uh, but I think maybe um, we might still be able to get... Oh, really? Oh, really, sir? We might still be able to get um, Lazarus if we're lucky. So far, that's not going too well considering I just got instantly uh, instantly taken out from my soul heart. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, God. I'm really conscious now about looking down. I feel like I'm constantly playing like this. Getting the double chin going. Um, by the way, uh, I also have to just mention... I don't have to mention, but I want to mention that... I am currently at my heaviest because of Christmas dinner and a year of eating shit. Do not judge me. <laughs> I doubt any of you would, but I want to say it anyways, for my own sake. Oh, we just found a modded item too. I, I completely bypassed that fact. You gotta do it to me, don't you? On the first, on the first run of the series, you have to give me whiz shot, don't you? The good thing is, whiz shot, we can still fire uh, blue fires straight, so I don't think Wish Shot is all that bad in that regard, because we still have a means of firing straight. But, come on now, game. Did you have to? Did you have to deal me the shitty hand? I mean, I say that. I, I could have opted to just not pick it up, um, but eh, I ain't no bitch. Uh, I would like some more luck upgrades. Uh, that would make uh, our... Our time with the blue fires, a lot more palatable. By the way, if you see me ever doing this, I'm like, ooh, watch this. It's because my microphone is like here, like right there, and it covers the bottom left of my screen. And so I can't actually see my devil deal, my angel deal, my planetarium chance, or what trinket I'm holding. Uh, not trinket, is it trinket? Whatever the thing is that's, that's on the left normally. Isn't that such a funny thing where you, um, there's something that you know off by heart, guaranteed every single time. But if someone asks you it, you're like, no idea. Or if you have to think about where something is, you're just like, I don't know. Like, what button does this? And you're just, you've, you've pressed that button a million times, but you have absolutely no idea if you're asked about it or have to think about it. So funny. Um, but yeah, anyways, I was talking about Christmas. Yeah, I had a really good Christmas, so this was the first year that my girlfriend's parents got to come over to my parents' house for uh, Christmas dinner, and it was really lovely. We also had the neighbours over and my grandma, so it was a pretty full house. My mum cooked for ten people, so quite. she was quite busy, but she really enjoys it. She, like, kind of thrives on that sort of stuff, so she, she really enjoyed having everyone over. Um, and then it's kind of become tradition it, it, with my family to host a Boxing Day party for, for the day after. Um... And so we did that again, and that was that was eventful. Um, me and my dad got very drunk. Like, that's probably the drunkest I've ever seen my dad. Um, but <laughs> mainly because, a uh, few reasons. One, we were just generally just drinking a lot. We tend to drink a lot on, uh, on Boxing Day. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> My dad was, like, for some reason, really into shots. And I, I, I'm a person that never really does shots after um, incidents from when I was younger. Uh, just drinking too many and making me feel ill. So now shots just generally are not good for me. They always make me feel ill and just thinking about them. But he managed to convince me. And also the neighbor, um, they're, they're Romanian. And they brought over some Romanian uh, brewed, some, like, home-brewed Romanian uh, spirits. And one of them was like 60%. And so we had like a few shots of that. And we had like these things called Baby Guinnesses, which is like Amaretto and Baileys, I think. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's it's nice. It's really good. Um, and there was a, various shots of other things, other gins and rums and all sorts of stuff. And so I got pretty pretty messed up early in the night. Um, and my dad got really, really drunk. Um, and then later in the night... The Romanian uh, family next door, the wife, she was at work, uh, her, her kid and her husband were over. Uh, and then she came She came later in the day, but everyone, I want to say everyone, but most people were drunk at that point and she was obviously stone cold sober. So I can't imagine what it was like for her. Um, and just, to, just as a nice little capper for the night, first of all, before we get to the capper, um, I got to go to a place next to my house called Star Takeaway that is just like... Do you, know, do you know how, like, there's different tiers to pizza? How there's, like, the lowest of the low, which is, like, gulps one trinket upon entering a new floor, rerolls any trinkets on you, um, smelted or not. Kind of interesting. Gulps one trinket upon entering a new floor, reroll any trinket on you, smelted or not. Ooh, okay. 
That is super spicy. I'm going to take it just in case we get some stuff to use that with. I also just noticed I've, I've not set one of my settings. If I go to EID, I think it is. It's uh, display. Um, da -da -da -da. Hmm. Display info is when obstructed. Display info is in shops. Display options. Is it not in display? Oh, God. What the hell? Um, might be in visuals. I, I apologize that I'm doing this in the moment. I'm looking for display mod indicator. That's it. Display mod indicator on both. And now, if a mo if a item is from a mod, it should it should tell me what mod it's from. So one of the comments was asking how to do that. So I've just given you a tutorial. So there you go. Ah, it's raining death on me. It's raining death on me. Um, yeah. So um, there's, do you know how there's like kind of tiers to pizza? There's like the shittiest of the shittiest, which is like just crap one pound frozen pizza. And then like a step up from that is like sort of higher quality frozen pizza. And then you have like shop bought, not frozen pizza. And then you have like takeaway pizza. And then you have like Domino's sort of takeaway level pizza. I, I don't know why I'm doing all the hand motions and like looking into the camera as I do this. It's just kind of, like I said, I use a lot of hand motions even when there's no one like watching me, like actually. Um, and then obviously there's like restaurant sort of pizza. Um, and within each tier, I feel like there is like rankings. And of the shitty takeaway pizza, this is supreme. This is like the best of the best. It's still a shitty takeaway pizza at the end of the day, but god damn if it isn't the absolute best shitty takeaway pizza you can get your hands on. It's so good. In uh, where I live now, um, oh, hello. Uh, I still haven't found one anywhere near as good. Oh, also you saw there as well, we have the colored descriptions, the colored um, unlock thingy there. Good stuff. Uh, oh, we're half a soul heart of unlocking Lazarus. Come on now. Um, yeah, uh, and it's just so good. So every time I go home, I'm always, like, pining after that. And so once I got a bit drunk after I, uh, a while, I went and, went and got that, and I was very, very pleased with it. Um, and so after that point, like I said, everyone was still pretty drunk. I'd sobered up a little bit because I'd eaten quite a lot. I ate, like, a 12-inch pizza and a uh, half a 10-inch pizza because we got one free because I know the people that work there because I used to work there. Um... But anyways, regardless of the free pizza, uh, come here, you bastard. Come here, you, you red fuck. Um, regardless of that, we capped off the night by uh, my sister, who doesn't drink, so she hadn't had anything to drink. She really wanted some chips, and so instead of going to the pizza shop like we did, she just uh, put some in the oven, or wanted to put some in the oven, but she couldn't because for some reason the oven wasn't working. She turned the knob up and like put the heat on. For some reason the oven wasn't working. But my mum has an air fryer, so she's like, okay, I'll just use the air fryer. No worries. This is this is, this room's getting really frustrating. Oh my god, dudes! This room is getting so frustrating. I can't hit anything. Finally, you're dead. I just need a fire to line up with this oh, bastard. You have to be summoners, don't you? I just want to finish my story, goddammit. Oh, for fu- For fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. It's like, do I try and hit with the whiz shots or do I try and hit with the fires? I'm not sure what's, like, the best idea. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh my god. This is pain. I've been here for 16 hours. I keep just barely missing with the fires. Okay, there's a good hit with the fire. Oh, for fuck. Because of the way they move, it's so hard to hit them with the directional tier, so I'm just like banking on the fires hitting them at this point. That's one dead. Oh, come on, there you go. Holy sugar tits, that was a, a long and arduous process. But anyways, um, yeah, and so she couldn't manage to get the oven on, but she was like, okay, my mum has a, um, oh, that guy killed himself on the uh, donation machine there, nice. Um, my mum has a air fryer, I'll just use that. The air fryer was sat on top of, like, the hob, which is a bad idea, and um, we'll get to that in a second. But, um, oh my goodness, goodness gracious. So, it, um, she, she, she just put the air fryer on, had a chips, so that... All was fine, she ate her chips. But then, about like 
about like 20-ish minutes later, um, there was a notice of some smoke pluming out of the kitchen. And uh, upon going into the kitchen, you could see that it was coming from the air fryer. So we assumed, oh shit, the air fryer has fritzed. It's like something's buggered it up, something's gone wrong. Um, that is not what happened. What had happened, um, Isaac's by sort of beggar machines animate faster, spawn three pickups around when first picking it up. Sounds decent enough to me. Oh, they don't work. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, uh, and yeah, it was like, okay, it's, it's, it might have fritzed or something, but that is not what happened. What had actually happened is when my sister attempted to, um, attempted to first cook her chips, she tried to put the oven on. What she had actually done is she had turned the hob on. She had turned one of the burners on and um, and they just left it on because she didn't realize she turned it on. She thought, oh, the oven's not working, but she hadn't even actually attempted to turn the oven on. She just turned the burner on. Um, and so uh, when the when the air fryer started like pluming smoke, I, I said to, I said to my dad, I was like, just just move it, like move it outside. Like we do not want this in the in the building. Please pick it up and make, take it somewhere else. And upon doing that. It kind of just stretched and str like sort of string cheese of plastic off of this granite board that it was sat on. Um, and so, yeah, the entire bottom plastic had just melted onto this granite slab. And the granite slab was the thing that was sat on the burner and the granite slab had cracked. Uh, and so there was this like string cheese pull moment of plastic um, <laughs> from, this, uh, from this air fryer. And it unfortunately, it still worked actually, but like my mum was like, nah, we're going to get another one. Impact Wax. Damage up while holding the fire button. Short range tears are also shot from Isaac's side. Um, leaves a sticky trail. Ooh, sounds interesting. Yeah, it's pretty good. Also gave us a little bit of a damage up. So, we get a slowing creep sort of around the room, as well as the potential chance to hit some extra shots. Oh god. You're not going to be fun. Um... Also, let's re-roll our trinket. See what we might get. Oh, god damn it. Abandoned box. Okay, this is a random familiar. Let's just pop that here. And we get sissy. Oh, so cute. My sissy, baby. Have we been to the item room? Yes, we just got impact wax from the item room, you fool. You goober. It, it, unfortunately, the impact wax is adding to a little bit of the lag, but that is, that is whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Use the fires. Honestly, depression working out pretty well for us here. I like the fact that our first item of the new save file was depression. Really, really kicking off for a good, a good save file here. With depression to to set us going, set us on our way. But yeah, that was like the most eventful thing that happened at Christmas. Um, apart from like just us all being overly rowdy and drunk, which is just, yeah. <laughs> and me eating just an inordinate amount of food. Um, like just, just far, far, far too much. Oh, for God's sake, this boss again. Ooh, depression did, did do a dent in him. Oh, okay. This guy's actually going to be kind of tricky because um, he's leaving tears all about the place that, yeah, I can't avoid. I, this this boss, this boss needs seriously needs a rework. He is just just something else. Something else. Hey, we did get the wooden horn though, and this will be our third devil deal if we can actually buy something. And indeed, we can. We'll buy that. Hey, Azazel. Beautiful. Um, I don't think there's anything else we want from there. So let's go. Um, and. We are going to end up smelting whatever this trinket is to us, but it will, it will re-roll. Okay, that's that's fine. We're not going to be using any books. Um, it will re-roll. By the way, I don't know when this run will end. I'm pretty sure we can go to Mum's Heart at least, I think. Uh, but we're definitely not making uh, Hush this time around, are we? No! Potential. Oh, no. We're Depths 1. No way. I was going to say potentially. No. There's no chance. I like the way my little uh, sticky shots from my side also have the dark thingy on. We get the astrology pebble. 
Yeah, we're going to have to make a more conscious effort to reach Hush. Unless people are okay with me uh, grabbing the mod that just disables the Hush and boss room timers. Personally, I am I think we should try and play legit and make the timers. But Fiendfolio does make um, runs take significantly longer in general, so Hush is harder. So it's, it's up to you guys. If we, if we do disable the timers, we'll be, be able to go to the alt, alt path and eventually beast a lot more quicker just because we'll be able to get those five push kills in way faster. But it's it's really up to you guys. I'd like to get some feedback on that. And as well as just hearing your guys' feedback about maybe some of the mods that we can add. I have mentioned uh, prior that there is some character mods that I want to add to the series in the future. Um, maybe the tarnished characters. I'm, I've seen those, those guys have got quite a lot of updates recently are actually looking to be in a pretty good place. Stuff like that. Um, and Henry, the poop character, wants to get a thumbnail for him as well. Um... Excuse me? It re-rolled it out of my inventory and into my pocket. I'm, I'm confused by that. And then we've got... Uh, Devil Deals have an extra cost. Yeah, we don't, We probably don't want to mess with that. But... Oh, I almost hit the spikes there. I am trying to play this re like relatively safely, but at the same time, I don't think... Oh, God. I don't think I'm going to die on my first run, but... Considering how bad I've been playing and considering we picked up the wish shot, it's not at all impossible. Dude, this guy is an absolute menace to society. I didn't realize he fired like that. I don't think I've ever seen him live this long. Him being a champion? Mess me up, dude. Mess me up. Okay, we've got the little dudes. Oh god, he almost got me. Uh, this is just depth one, so let's just go for the boss straight away here. Oh, bollocks. I'm trying to get all the crap out of the way so I can fight this guy a little more efficiently. You don't actually need to do this. It's literally just to get the crap out of the way. Oh god, that bomb was not good. His, his pieces are after me. Is he dead? No. I don't know what I have to hit right now. There's something that the game wants me to hit, and I don't know what it is. Okay, it's that bit of brain there. We managed it, just about. We managed it. That was oh so confusing. Devil deal? I mean, I guess I'll check it, but I'm likely to leave it. Yeah, for four broken hearts, I don't think so. Ooh. Sinner's Sight is pretty awesome. This is a big risk, uh, but I'm going to just take that. And I'm also going to take the speed upgrade. Yeah, just because Herming is going to be fantastic with um, with Wiz Shot. It's going to make us hit a significantly higher percentage of our shots. But it does put it does put our thingy. Also, it works really well with Dark Matter because feared enemies take extra damage. Um, does put health in a bad situation. But buying that makes me a little happier. Do you know what? I just... For some reason, I wanted to itch this bit of my hand here, and I did it in the weirdest. I used my little, my little stubby little shitty beard um, to to itch it, and normally that would be fine. But people can see me now. I've got to be aware. Yeah, see who who was who was the bad decision taking with shot now? Hey. Oh wait, we just got crumpled ticket. Uh, I don't think crumpled ticket can be removed, so that's not great. This. This could be pretty cool. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm hoping it's going to work the way I think it is. Yes, it is. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Very cool run for our first run here. Very cool run for our first run. You've got to love this. Is that guy a rainbow champion? I think he was. Uh, I think we're just going to get the hell out of here, aren't we? I mean, I'll, I'll complete this room just because... I want to show my prowess. I'm a little annoyed that I even attempted this. Is this... Can I even... <sighs> Boo you. Boo you. That was Pac-Man, wasn't it? I'm fairly certain that was Pac-Man. I'm going to try this for a secret room here. Huzzah. I have been successful. And I'm also going to try this too for a magic mush. Ah. Bollocks. 
But yeah, there's probably a ton of things that I'm doing wrong on this first run in terms of unlocks. Do remember, I haven't started any save file in this game in literally like six years. So this is all pretty new to me. I mean, I say that I did start any save file for the Nuzlocke, but I mean properly. One second. I have to see, keep pausing to itch my nose because normally I can just do that. But now I have to be conscious that you guys can see me do that, which is strange. By the way, yes, I do have a majestically pathetic little beard and dash. As are. you probably already noticed by now, but the lighting might not, allow, might not have allowed you to. But it's pathetic. I've mentioned it to people on many occasions. I've mentioned it in my videos before, but now you have to see it in the flesh. I absolutely love that we got this synergy. It's very cool. Oh, hello. That's a big stat upgrade. And it did reroll the crumpled ticket, which I was not expecting. Okay, let's not get hit, hit a bunch more, please. I was hoping we'd get, like, a Cracker Jacks or something out of that there. At the minute, I'm just desperately hoping for more HP, because... HP-wise, we're actually in a pretty rough spot still. I could go around blowing up all of these skulls, but I need them to be a little more tightly knit first, a little more grouped. I'm liking the stat boost that we got from our uh, trinket there. Honestly, I might just stick with the trinkets we have now. I don't think I'm going to re-roll anymore. For right now. Okay. Booster shot. Uh, piercing. I don't think that does anything for us, so I'm not going to bother taking that. It's a really cool item, but we already have piercing. Hey, we get the school bag unlocked. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with that. Unfortunately, not really what we wanted. Okay. Not super confident about going to the next floor with this much HP. I'll be honest. But we do have a pretty smashing build. I think it is plausible. And we get the screw because, of course, I completely forgot if you don't have the fucking photo, the, the negative and the Polaroid unlocked, you actually get an item, which is pretty awesome. Curse of Bliss. Hmm. I am, I am quite worried right now. Uh, I am desperately looking out for a Tinted Rock. I'm not very good at spotting them on the womb, uh, but I will keep my eye out. I almost certainly keep my eye out. And I'm sure one of you will spot it before I will, and I'll completely miss it. But that's just going to have to be how it is. I could take that for the potential balls of steel. It was a luck upgrade. That's actually really good for us. Oh, dude, we have three luck right now. That's why we're getting so many fires. I think that's from the, uh, the trinket we've currently got smelted. I think the passive benefit... Oh, God. We're one hit off death. I think the passive benefit to... Um, the passive benefit to smelt or trinket pair floor is really, really good. We're definitely going to die. Yeah, we died. Balls. Skill issue for the first run. My goodness. Uh, we didn't actually get a win on our first run, which I think is... Doesn't, very, doesn't bird very well for us. <laughs> I'll say that. It doesn't bird very well for the series. But I took some risks in order to have an interesting run. And I'll be honest, I'm really glad that I did. I probably could have lived through that run. I probably should have done a bit more min-maxing on the last floor to try and get some HP. Like, found our secret rooms and stuff. I think I found one of them, but I should have found the second secret room and stuff as well. But, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, and it doesn't matter that we had uh, a death at the start of our first, like, run for the next series or whatever. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my, my face. Why am I... Like stat like this, punched over. What am I doing? Strange. Anyways, it's because I'm not really used to this new chair. I'm easing myself into it. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.